great way to break it. All right, so a lot of strategies. A lot of thought needs to be put in into this hard point, but oh, my God, start. we're about to start the game up, and I'm no in the way. game. Actually, someone just left, so I'm All in the right. game, so I could actually drive this. Pressure's off of you, but complexity versus collapse. It's about to happen. You have a hard point. It's going to be the first map here, and who's the player to watch from your team on this map? Uh, you know, I want to watch TP doing the objective work right off the bat and see how he plays the middle hill. If they're going to be aggressive to get that time, or because we're playing with Dito, who we're probably aren't familiar with, if we're going to just play conventional and rotate early towards the top spawn. Right, well, I'm looking through Twitter right now. I'm looking at all the desserts I got. This dude just sent me like... Oh, come on. That is... He's not Oreo eating that cake. right now. This is like, on, first off, this is off of Google. I could already yeah. tell. Like, you, you lose, sir. That guy lost. What is what, this? What do you got? You got a picture of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. That's not really creative. You know, I figured after we talked about food for so long... That somebody out there is probably baking a cake, right? Would have got starved, or had their girlfriend right, this dude bring got over it from some Google ice cream as well. Okay. Like he, he gave me a that's Mario a wedding cake. cake. That's a like, wedding cake. All right, come on! I know this is from. You're Google. not watching us at a wedding right now, and if right. you are, big props to you. So far, nobody's won. This guy, he sent me strawberry yogurt. Automatically, you lose because oh. of strawberry. You were not. Watching. We talked uh, about that, bro. Dispute. He sent me another picture. This is from Google as well. Come on! I know this is from Google, man. You can't fool me. They think they can trick us, Revan, but they can't. We cannot. But we're getting back into the game now. Yemen and Hardpoint, we're going to kick things off with TP from Complexity. Now, you said it before entering into this game. You can control this middle hardpoint. It just takes some work. Well, how do you do it? Right. Well, it's, you know, controlling the middle hardpoint is actually, you, you know, you get one guy on the hardpoint, and then it's so important for the That's others the to just look out over him. And right here, you're going to see TP probably just push this through the smoke. And then, really, it's all important for his team to get kills around him. And just ho watch that, that uh, we call it that mid-door right there. So they can't push through from Treehouse. I would love to see Teep try to juggle the hard point right here. But he's going to lay down, picks up that first kill. Immediately gets taken us. So let's go on board Rizma from Collapse. It looks like they're going to play with Phenom here as a fill-in. I, I don't think he's their permanent fourth. But we'll keep an eye out. We'll see how they're going to do here. Definitely have their work cut out for them as they're going up against Complexity here. But Dito on your screen, he's going to be filling in for Aix. Finds one more kill as he cleans up Rizma there. Making a three-piece as he takes out Complex. So Complexity, they're going to control the middle hard point early on here. You got Crim6 in the hard point. Now he's focused on the middle door. But you got one player starting to spawn out. It's going to be Rizma as Complexity. You see it on the mini-map. Now they're starting to rotate through the statue, taking top side hard point as the hard point is going to transition to the treehouse. Right. It's, it's really exactly hard what I talked about at the beginning out. of the game, that you can still get time on that first hard point and control spawn that you don't give up completely on the first hill because if you give up completely on the first hill and then don't get time, it, you're putting yourself at a dis huge disadvantage for the rest of the game. Dito watching his back, able to find one. He's one climbing into the purple room as well, but you still got Complex, the anchor for Collapse. So Dito, he's going to make his way to the statue. Now getting shot in the back. Going to use the smoke. He's covered fine one. Cleaning up too quick. And he's going to turn around. Dito so close to some scorchers. I think Clayster, he's got to have him here as he's on a six kill spree inside the hard point as well. But you can't switch off Dito right now. Now I can because he's dead. And you just <laughs> got a glimpse of it. Clayster, he's fully shrieked out. Yeah, and that's huge going into Market Hill. And especially with the Collapse only have seven seconds on the hard point, you know. They're, they got a, a bunch of kills collapse, and they really didn't push and try and flood out a treehouse. They really gave more time, which they can't afford to do right now. I mean, obviously you want to focus on that rotation. You're trying to take control of statue side, but they just took way too long in doing it. I mean, you had, I believe it was Rizma pushing first, and then you had Complex after. And within those two pushes, you know, 20, 25 seconds were already off the clock. So... Definitely focus on locking down Sashi trying to push there, but you got to do it quick. You got to be fast with it. But now Clayster, he's going to get inside the hard point. He's around halfway to overlapping his score streaks. Maybe he's going to call in a Hellstorm missile here, which would be quite effective as the three members from Collapse were pushing up the dirt side of the map. Right, and you notice uh, you had Crim6 over there on your mini-map at Statue, and he was getting important kills and pushing their spawn all the way out by Treehouse. But you need to see a great uh, break by Collapse right there, but Crim picking up two huge kills. And now you got Complex. Now, this is not the Complex that's currently on Curse. They actually have the Our same name. Yes. Yeah. So two Complexes in the game. That was extremely confusing. Especially, it was awesome because they actually played against each other at Dallas. So it was a battle was of Complex. Complex versus Complex. It was, it was a complex battle here. But now you see Complex on your screen. He's going to rotate to the church hard point. Crim6, he's going to look to get the scrappy time. Rizma, he's got other plans. But Rizma, he didn't go for the scrappy time. But more importantly, he didn't go for the capture time towards the score. No, and I mean, he could have gotten the, the score. If you're going to go back, you might as well get the score mm -hmm. points. And right now, you're going to see this battle of church is extremely important for Collapse to get in there and get this time. 
So Phenom, he's going to lock this one down, but who's it going to be for Complexity to lead the charge? You got TP, he's set up in the back. He's going to wait for his buddy. It's going to be Dito coming around the back. Crim6 was taken out trying to fight through the front, but here comes TP. He's going to make his moves. Going after the anchor first. Smart plays. He takes he's out fly. Complex. But now you got two players, four clocks. Fine, there's my here, but it's going to be Phenom inside the hard point. Rizma, if he would have gotten those capture points, he would have had streaks right now. Right, and it was that was a, a great example of how to break this hard point. They, they didn't really just jump in and flood like other a lot of other teams you see do. They took out the anchor, they spawned them out, and then you pretty much have a three-on-one advantage in the hill. Yeah, so it's a step-by-step -step process. Step one, take out the anchor player, spawn them out. Step two, group everyone together. Step three, flood in and kill the guy inside the hard point. <laughs> now, see, that's going to be Crim6 with a shotgun on your screen. Just turning himself the Hellstorm, so which he's going to use right now on the transition to the Satchel hard point. I loved what he did right there. He just kind of scanned across the screen and said, Okay, there's a guy statue, there's a guy top market, and I'm going to kill this guy on the hill. Right, and you also notice that he, he spawned the one guy that he killed extremely far out, down by Treehouse. And I think you're going to see Complexity rotate up towards top market and use those streaks to spawn them down low and try and pick up even more time. Lightning Strike, not that effective from Chrome 6, but let's take a look at Clayson. So he's still fully streaked out. When is the ideal moment to place on the sentry gun on this map? Uh, I think you're going to see Clayson use the sentry gun the next market hill that comes up. All right, so market hard point maybe place yeah. it down. Where do you want to put it? Do you want to put it watching uh, statue? You, know, far you can middle? really you can really mess the spawns up with the sentry gun on this map because if you can put it and it can face towards statue side, you can pretty much block that spawn all the way back to tree. So you know you don't really have to watch it as much, and then you know if they destroy the sentry, you know they're pushing up hard through that side. All right, so key sentry gun placement coming from Mr. X here. Let's hop over to Dito. Never mind Dito's dead. Grimbot, what are you doing here? He's inside the hard point. Five seconds from me. We're going back to the middle. And right now, Complexity, they got a pretty decent lead up by around 60 points. But look at the scoreboard. You got Rizma. He's going all for collapse, but 17 and 16 for Crim6, 17 and 9 for Clayson. Right, and you notice, like, the captures and the defense. We always talk about that. Uh, Rizma and Phenom are pretty much doing all the hill work right now for collapse. So they're going to have to have... More guys play the objective and try and help them more on the hill. Full screen right now with Krim6 switching to pitcher and pitcher. I'm going to do that. He gets taken out. But now TP is the guy with the hot hand. And whenever TP starts to heat up and he starts to do some slaying work, it's just bad news for the other team. Yeah, and I think you're going to see TP here. He's going to try and pick up another kill, get this hard point vacant, take the time, and just try and juggle to get these points. But looks like Krim actually took him from him, so he's probably not too happy about that. <laughs> All right, so working towards some streaks, Teep. He's going to lead the rotation for his team, has to get past Complex, but it looks like the Harpoint will be contested here by Phenom. Teep, if he picks up this kill, gets the capture points, he will get streaks, but he's got other plans. He's more focused on the spawn Hard points for the current Harpoint, but oh, Teep, you got to get out of there, Complex. He's going to shoot you in the back, now taking cover. Oh. Oh, I can't believe Teep just dodged that. Yeah, that was, that was just great play from Teep. You know, even though Complex knows he's in purple, he still has to worry about him. Yeah, give himself a Smart fighting play. chance. Yeah. Picks up one, immediately cleaned up. Now you got Krim, he's inside the treehouse hard point. So he's just going to try to dip and dive around here, you know, working the outside of the hard point while he's pushed up from the dirt area. And, you know, getting that third spawn, obviously you never want to spawn there, but how do you make it work when you are getting that spawn? Uh, when you are getting that spawn up top on uh, from the dirt side, you really want to just, you need to push all the way out. I think a lot of the teams that I watch play, they defend the hard point from at the hard point that you need to just keep pushing further out and just keep pushing the spawns further away. Yeah, it looked like Clayster dropped his controller for a bit there, yeah, so he, he wasn't not playing it. A little bit. It didn't even matter because Complexity, they still hold on to the hard point. Now they have around a 100-point lead if they get the rest of the scribe time. Looking at the minimap, Claps, they're just going to rotate to the market hard point. This is where Clayster, you said he was going to try to drop down his sentry gun or use his health service. So might use the lightning strike here to clear off the setup. Yeah, I think he's going to try and use his lightning soon here. And, uh, you know, actually, Collapse is spawning out on your map, as you see. So anyone who he kills right here with this lightning is going to spawn pretty far away. And now you're going to see Complexity push all the way up to the top oh, man. and sh across the purple side, like yeah. uh, that curved street, and take control of that spawn area. So Clayster got taken out as he was trying to put down his sentry gun, it looked like. But nonetheless, it's going to be with the TP here. If he turns around, he's going to find just about every single player from Collapse Dito now in a great position to pick up kills. And this is where he shines. He's so good at just slaying everybody that he sees. And Picks up two right there, not switching out to the M8. Makes it a three-piece. All four kills going in favor of Complexity. As now it's going to be up to Collapse to try to battle back in. But only 20 seconds remaining. Obviously, you don't want to feed Complexity this time. But I think making the rotation to the charge higher point is the better choice here. Yeah, and Collapse is in a pretty bad situation here. You know, they can't they can't keep feeding Complexity at market because you're going to give them streaks, which is going to make it impossible to hold the next two hills. But at the same time, you're down and you need the points. 
So, I mean, I agree that the, the play there is to just give up and try and get 60 here and maybe acquire some streaks for the next hill, but it's definitely a difficult position for Collapse to be in right now. All right, take note of how complex the break into the Tarp on Crimp. He's going to jump up 5-1, doesn't pick up that kill, but now he sees, all right, so we got two players inside the hard point. So we might have to stack a couple more players inside the hill. Clacer, you still got this central gun, still hasn't used it, but he's got a shotgun in his hand. So he's gonna be the player trying to do some dirty work inside the hard point. Finds one in the back, connects there onto complex. And now the anchor player is down. They're gonna be spawning out. As you see on the minimap, you even got Dito here on the spawn kill. And just like that, they break the hard point and this might be the game. Yeah, and uh, you, you notice uh, Krim got that huge double with that shotgun right there. And he also had uh, that danger close class we were talking about that we've seen Killy use a bunch of times where he, uh, he naded both sides of the hard point, got them weak, and then flooded around from the stairs and picked up two easy kills. Oh, man. Five seconds left for Complex to close this one out. It's going to happen. It's all over. 23 and 14 is Clayster. Some massive slam work being done overall by Complexity as they take that first map. Yemen hard point very convincingly, winning by 142 total points. Yeah, and, you know, that's, that's pretty much how we love to play Yemen hard point. And I think one thing that you'd notice from Collapse is there wasn't too much, there wasn't a lot of hill presence out of the whole team. A lot of times you see that teams have like an o OBJ player, like like we say TP is like our OBJ player, but you notice everybody is contributing to hill captures and defense. I think you need to really focus on the hill more as a team for the first 30 to 40 seconds of the hill, then start pushing out. I mean, we even saw Clayster on that church hard point. He whipped out a shotgun, did some work inside the hard point until he got taken out, but it was really Crim6 there. But Complexity, they have an easy time on that Yemen hard point first map of this round three matchup. We're going to head to a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're heading to Search and Destroy.